Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonin from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 445 and we received a question yesterday in the FA community group from my friend Diana and she said, looking for advice when receiving an inquiry from those falling on hard times such as terminal illness and the associated economic concerns, do you offer a discount or even for free? They didn't ask that specifically, but my heart wants to help. Yet, I've had a run on them lately and it's difficult to keep losing money. Anyone have experience with this and or advice to offer? So I would love if you guys could comment and let us know your approach or your perspective. There were a lot of comments on the thread that were really good. It's easier for me to address this via live video because I have a lot of thoughts on it. And number one, Diana, I love your heart. Your heart wants to help and that's wonderful. And by way of a disclaimer, let me say that you can run your business however you would like. If you want to offer your services, if you want to volunteer, if you want to charge, that is completely up to you. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer here. There are just different choices. I will say this, the number one goal of a business is to be profitable. And you can't be profitable if you are continually giving away your services. So I think that there has to be a balance. I also believe, however, that when you are gifted with something such as the gift of photography, that giving that and serving your community is always a good thing. And I believe in that and I volunteer my services quite often, but there has to be a balance because you can't be giving away your services all the time or you would never make money. So sometimes I'll say to people, well, you know, is it something, is it someone that you know or something that really speaks to your heart or that you're really concerned about? Or is it an obligation? You feel obligated to do it because that's going to give you a different kind of reason to do it. You're going to have a different perspective. And then I have people who are hobbyists that say, well, my goal isn't to make money. I'm a hobbyist. So if people ask me, I should just do it because I'm a hobbyist. I'm not really a business, but I do charge sometimes. Well, the thing is, if you give away your services too often, ultimately you will start to resent these people. Now, you wouldn't resent them directly. It's not like you would say, I resent this person that has cancer. Of course not. But you would start to feel resentful that you're always doing these things for free. So there has to be a balance between how often you do it. Maybe you want to donate your services to an organization such as Now I, now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. If you've not heard of them, I will post the link in the comments. I volunteered with them for years and they were phenomenal, but there has to be a balance. I had to take a step back when it became a little bit too much for me. There's also another organization called Help Portrait. Uh, there's several others. Um, I can't think of them off the top of my mind, but if you know of these organizations, please post them below. I think that it is very noble and kind for you to offer and give your services on a periodic basis. I do not think it's appropriate to continually give away your services. And something you said specifically in that post, Diana, was that you've had a run on these lately, which means at some level, maybe not consciously, you're starting to feel resentful. And that's not a good place to do that from. So I would never want you to do it because you feel obligated. You should do these types of things because you feel that it's important or that it speaks to your heart or you want to serve a particular organization or a group of people but obligation is not the reason to do it now if you feel badly okay let's not feel badly badly means you're feeling guilty which is a non-productive emotion it doesn't serve you and it doesn't serve your clients so instead of feeling badly about saying no could you possibly say no and then recommend someone else so we work with a lot of photographers in the area I have a ton of photographer friends if it's something that doesn't really fit either into my schedule or I kind of feel obligated, but I want to help, but I'm not sure how, then what I'll do is I'll say, hey, I'm sorry I'm unavailable to help you currently, but here are some people that might be able to assist. Also, you made a huge assumption in that post, and that was that they wanted it for free. But you said they didn't ask for that. You just felt like you should offer it for free. And I, I would be careful doing that because there are people that even when things are difficult, they actually are happy and want to pay for your services. So don't assume just because they're asking and they're in a difficult situation, 
that they're asking for free. You could give them your prices and they could say, you know, no, that doesn't work right now based on what we're dealing with. You could offer a discount. You could do something to work within that framework, but it's, we're talking a lot about this. I don't want you to overthink it. If it's something that speaks to your heart, then do it. Trust your gut and your intuition. But if it's something that you're feeling obligated to do, or you're really busy, or you honestly just don't have the time, that's okay. Don't feel guilty about that. Offer them a different photographer. Help them find somebody that works for them, and you can feel good knowing that you helped in that regard because you can't do it for everyone, and you can't save the world. I wanna save the world. Of course, I wanna help everyone, but I can't. But I can point them in the right direction. So leave, leave a comment. Please let me know what your thoughts are on this and how you approach serving and helping people and how often and have you ever gone too far, maybe done too many free sessions and you start to feel resentful and, and then it's, not, it's just not coming from a good place or a good energy. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.